First tonight, students and teachers will head back to their classrooms in the fall, but not everyone thinks that's such a good idea. Bryce Newberry is live at an Austin elementary school with more on this story. Bryce? Quito, while cases are still rising and the state broke records every day so far this week for the number of people hospitalized with COVID-19, the Texas Education Commissioner says classrooms will be safe for students by this fall. That's why the leader of the Austin Teachers Union calls today's announcement a joke. Governor Greg Abbott told state lawmakers over a phone call Thursday kids will go back to class in the fall. This is unacceptable and I really find it to be a rather heartless um, uh, uh, short-sighted and uh, political maneuver on their part. Education Austin President Ken Zarifis says the decision should be left up to local districts. We're on the ground doing it, not sitting perched in some office high above the TEA towers or in the Capitol or in the governor's mansion. We're doing it every day. But Texas Education Commissioner Mike Morath said in a statement Thursday, schools will be safe by the fall. State Representative Donna Howard was on the call with the governor. It feels a little premature at the moment uh, as we're seeing our state, and certainly here in the Austin area, uh, seeing increased uh, positive IDs, increased hospitalizations, a decrease in doubling time, which means that the spread is going pretty quickly. That's why Zarafa says he hopes the Austin Independent School District thinks twice before opening classrooms. Will it really take the death of a child for them to understand the severity of this? The TEA will announce more plans next week, but parents will get to choose if their kid goes back to the classroom. Reporting live tonight in North Austin, I'm Bryce Newberry, KVU News.